food plus superfood, supplement, and drug, in that order. Pretty simple, huh? Modern medicine is driven by profit. The dominating interest is the pharmaceutical, or drug. Now you might question, as I have, how can you know if the effects of a man-made molecule has on the living cell or the organism as a whole? Well, the truth is, is we can't know and we don't know, even though your doctor is very willing to write the script for it. We're just scratching the surface of learning how our body, these amazing molecular machines, work and function. And that is why there's so many side effects with drugs. And that is why in my practice, barring an urgent situation, I like to use a stepwise progression and save the side effect laden pharmaceuticals as a last resort for treating most medical conditions, including overweight. So first I start with food. The wise advice of, of Hippocrates still stands today. Let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. All of life is designed to be healthy on food and water. But if we change the food, process it, irradiate it, add chemicals, or otherwise adulterate, then all bets are off. So step number one is a diet of unadulterated food, and this alone will cure or prevent many diseases. The addition of superfoods and nutrient-dense foods is also a must today, as they were used also by our ancestors. They were called sacred foods. Step two would be to consider an herbal remedy or nutritional extract, such as a vitamin or mineral. I'll use these when there's a problem that food alone can't handle. I'll also use herbs and nutrient supplements for the person that's too busy to eat right or not convinced it will help. Herbs and synthesized nutrients can have side effects, just like drugs can. But I found more often the side effects of these are good instead of bad. Now, side effects of properly prescribed drugs is the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. That statistic can give you an idea of how important this idea is and how it can save your life. Now, the last step is to use a drug. Drugs aren't evil, but in my view, it's a myth that drugs have improved our health overall. It might be different if science was used in the pursuit of truth instead of the pursuit of profit. If there was a search for truth, we'd have other options besides drugs, and the drugs we did have would be a lot more likely to be helpful instead of harmful. The bottom line is we're stuck with this broken system, and I don't think it will change in my lifetime or yours. Now, the hook that the greedy pharmaceutical companies have on doctors, scientists, legislators, medical education, and the media, it's rigged at every rung of the ladder. Now, I, I challenge you to give this a try. The first step is to begin with a natural foods diet. Try to have it part raw or minimally changed. This is the very best option be because it contains the next miracle cure that science have yet to discover. It's important to add superfoods because of modern farming techniques have left food without its former nutritional punch. If you still have health issues, then see a natural medicine physician that can direct you to herbs and supplements. Now, be a smart consumer when you resort to a drug. If it's expensive, has a long list of side effects, and the number needed to treat is near infinity, like some of the statin drugs, then I would say try to find a better way. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel by hitting the button above. Any comments would be appreciated. This is Dr. Gerhauser. Thanks so much for watching.